went to fuel once, that made me like so angry. It's absolutely disgusting. People have worked all their life, paid in all their life, and then they're taking 300 pounds away from them. 780,000 oh, yeah. pensioners are now not going to be getting that. It's going to freeze to death. The government would say that they've got to fill a 22 billion pound black hole. I would have thought there may be better ways to save money than punishing the elderly. There's taxes that could be raised on the wealthy who've done very well in the last 13, 14 years. There are now 20% more billionaires in this country than there were before the pandemic. Right. It stinks. It's disgusting, isn't it? Absolutely disgusting. They should take from the rich. Yeah. Not, not the old people. They're retired. They can't work anymore. If they put a 2% tax on the country's richest 20,000 people, anyone that's got assets of £10 million or more, that would raise £24 billion. So that would fill the black hole. Yeah and I'd leave £2 billion left over. See, to me, that just makes sense. I would want that to be looked at seriously and quickly. They'd probably say, oh, well, then all these rich people are going to leave the country. That's yes, good. they would, but they won't. Yeah. They won't, because they it... love this weather too much. <laughs> they might say, I'm leaving and going somewhere else. But their assets that... would stay here. Some of them might go, but uh, you know, companies that are based in this country that depend on business in this country will stay. They did similar taxes in Norway and Sweden. 0.01% mm. of people left. One in 10,000 people. The very wealthy can afford to pay a little bit more and probably should. I think we need to be taxing them and redistributing it to things that ordinary people actually need.